Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My hair is different than what I'm gonna be doing in this video. I will not show you a tutorial on how my hair looks right now. This is just trying to salvage what I did in this tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you two different size curling irons. This side of my hair, I'm strictly just using a one inch, and this side I'm using a three fourths inch in this tutorial, and I'm curling my hair different ways. So you understand what the curls look like. I show you a curl that a lot of people um, do unintentionally because it makes sense but it doesn't work out very well. So I show you how to do that and how it doesn't look good compared to the other curls. I'm gonna show you four different curls on each side of my hair using two different size curling irons. So I hope that this video helps you understand how to use a curling iron and it's not really hard and what technique would work best for you. So that's the video today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. I am gonna be using a 3 4 inch curling iron or a 0.75 inch curling iron, and then I'm gonna use a one inch curling iron. I'll link both of them down below for you. These are both from Croc, and you can use my code Chloe30 to save money on them. Uh, anyways, these are hybrid curling irons, so you can use them for multiple uses. Uh, they're great, I love them. Okay, so this whole side of my head, I'm gonna be using the 3 4 inch, and this whole side of my head, I'm gonna be using the one inch, just to show you the differences, the different curls. So let's start with the 3 4 inch curling iron. I'm gonna show you a wand curl. Uh, this curling iron is really cool because it doesn't like leave a crease. You can also lift up the barrel and set it down if you don't wanna do that. I like lifting up the barrel so it can hold my hair in there, kind of relax on the ends. So this is a wand curl. When you wrap your hair around the wand, uh, most people buy separate curling irons that do this function. You don't need to buy a separate one. I have never, like I've had a wand and I've never used it because you can just use regular curling irons for that purpose. I think it's just like an advertising thing and they give you like a glove. <laughs> you don't need to. You literally just need to lift up your barrel and then wrap your hair around it. So I just did a wand curl there. It's tight, right? So if you curl your hair like this, you can do it many different ways. You can do it alternating directions and that kind of gives you a beachy vibe. And then if you do it all in the same direction, it'll give you those vintage curls, like the vintage curls that kind of like, you know, set into each other. I'll put a picture right here so you understand what I mean. And then I'll put a picture right here of the beachy curls, which are every other way so you understand. So this side, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna use the one inch. And obviously these curls are gonna be way bigger. So the three fourths inch, I like using if I'm doing like um, an event, like event hair, I like using the wand curling for that because it's just a little more wedding appropriate, you know? This one is kind of looser, softer. I'm gonna do the rest of this section of hair so you can see what it looks like, but I'm gonna do every other piece in every different direction. So with these, you wanna make sure that you're twisting your hair around the barrel and twisting your hair at the same time. Do you see right here? I have a full video on me just wand curling my hair. I'll put that in the little eye up top right now so that you can click on that and, and see what that looks like. But the, the curl should look like this, like little snakes. And then when you brush them out, you know, they look like that. If your hair does not hold a curl, I highly suggest doing sections like this, but do small sections. I think the, or the biggest uh, mistake people do while curling their hair is taking way too big of sections. Uh, if you want your hair to hold a curl, you need to do small sections. You don't need to hold the hair there for a long time. It's just people take a big chunk of hair and think that their hair is going to curl and it hasn't even, the heat hasn't even penetrated all the way through. Also, uh, another tip if your hair doesn't hold a curl, don't touch your curls until they're absolutely room temperature because while they're hot, you can manipulate the hair a lot. So that's why when you use a blow dryer, if you want your hair to you know, stay lifted or whatever. They say, use the cool setting so you cool down that cuticle so it seals the cuticle and stays where it needs to. Same thing with a curling iron, same thing with a flat iron. You want your hair to be at room temperature before you touch it so the cuticle is sealed and your hair stays put. 
I'm just gonna fast forward this part real quick since you know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna show you the different looks. All right, I did not curl the back of my hair, but let me just show you. So this is the wand curl from the one inch. Just very loose. These are alternating directions. Very beachy feeling, right? Here is the 3 4 inch. Just more body, tighter curls. Your hair looks way shorter, right? <laughs> um, and the curls are more towards the root because it's just a smaller barrel. So those are the two looks for that type of curl. Now, if you were to go all the way up, it looks way better, obviously. My hair is longer on the top than it is on the bottom. It's easier to do uh, different curls. And once I get to the very top layer of my hair, I'll do the different curls on either side so you completely understand what they look like right next to each other. But I just wanted to show you section for section. Next section of hair, this is how not to curl your hair, okay? Do not curl your hair like this. Please don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't. What this does when you curl your hair is it keeps the bottom very curly, but it doesn't curl the top. So then you're left with this. What is this? What is it? I don't know. But all the weight is down here, okay? all the way is at the very end. Look at how short it made my hair. Look it. Do not curl your hair like that. So don't bring it down all the way and do not just roll up. That is not how you wanna curl your hair. This is not a good look, don't do it, okay? This is Shirley Temple and we're way past this, okay? All right, this is how you should curl your hair. So I'm gonna do it with the one inch curling iron. So you pull halfway. See, I'm halfway through my hair and you wanna twist right here and do the curl right at the root. And then if you want more curl down here cause you like your ends curled, this looks good on longer hair, then you slide down and then you curl the rest. See how much nicer, look at this. Here, let me tuck this behind. See how this just flows better? It's more face framing. It doesn't stick out a lot. Do you see how this one is just all collected at the ends? It's terrible. You don't want that. You want most of your curl to be at the root or the middle section of your hair. If you have short hair, you want your hair to be at the root. If you have longer hair, you want it to be like towards the middle section. But this is just, that is not the way to go. We don't want this. This is pretty, okay? Let me fix this. Now there is a way to fix some curls like this. What you do is you just take your flat iron and you straighten those ends. And then it becomes a little bit more usable. All right, let me show you a curl with the 3 4 inch curling iron on this side to where it actually looks good. And you're doing it correctly. So you take your curling iron, you put it on, you go down to the middle, you curl up, you let it sit there for a second, and then you go down. Now, I like leaving about an inch of my hair out of the barrel so that it's kind of flatter. That is the way you want your hair curled. Do you see how it's just more even? More even distribution of that curl all the way down, and it's not just kind of ringletty at the bottom. So you want your hair more like that. Let me curl this section more so you can see it better. So halfway through, roll it up, bring it down, roll it up, let it go. So you wanna curl the ends the least. <clears throat> this is also good for your hair because your ends are the oldest part of your hair. Those have been there for a year, two, maybe three. If you have really long hair, they've been with you for a long time. You want the least amount of heat at the end of your hair. That's where all the breaking happens. That's been taking the most heat damage. It's the oldest hair. You wanna give it a break. That's why I like also leaving the ends out um, as well. So this is what these look like over here when I just curl them all in the same direction, curling more towards the root. Okay, cute, really cute. This one, it's a little bit more sassy. 
shorter. Okay, there we go. On this section of hair, this is gonna be my favorite types of curls. Let me tuck these curls back so you can't see them anymore. Now this is the curl, when I do this, people are like, what are you doing? <laughs> I've done a very slow tutorial on this before. I will link that right here in the eye so you can see how I do it. But this is my favorite way of curling. This looks the nicest in my opinion and it kind of just gives a really nice finish to your curls. So three fourths inch curling iron. We are going to curl like I was before, right in the middle. Now instead of curling the rest of it, like letting go to the bottom, I am going to scoot that barrel down. So now my hair is twisted right here. Then I'm gonna pull down and curl more. Take that barrel out, pull down, take it out and then run my curling iron through the ends just a little bit. So it kind of looks like a very thin spiral. It does not look like you really curled your hair. It looks very different, but you take out your hair and look at that. It's just, there's like a dent, but a curl. It stays flat to your head. That is my favorite part about it. It doesn't stick out. I like my volume to be up at the root. I don't like it to be here. So I like this curl because it lays flatter, but it still looks really nice. So it doesn't poof out. It's not frizzy, it's just very soft. And then the ends are really straight. So I'm gonna show you a couple more curls right next to each other with this technique so you can see the difference. I'm gonna go towards my face this time. So curl at the root, let it sit there for a second, pull it down and out, keep it twisted, curl again, pull it down, curl again, and then pull out that little spiral, okay? Let's do it one more time away from my face. Curl at the root, let it out, let it out. It's like a glide and twist. I don't know how else to explain it. Just, I'm trying to go as slow as possible. All right, here we go one more time. Curl at the root, pull it out, slide it down, curl, twist, pull, twist, pull. Okay? All right, let's see all this brushed out. Here we go. So then you just run your fingers through this. Oh, it looks weird because it's just one layer. But when you have multiple layers, it just all kind of sets in together. Looks very nice. It is straight down on my hair, which is really nice. Okay, let's try over on this side. Same technique. I personally like the one inch doing these curls better on my short, or on my bob length right now. Um, I don't know why, I just, I like this style better. However, I do this a lot, but I like this one better uh, for this type of curl. So go towards my face, so you do the same thing. Nothing's changed over here. So it looks like a pencil. And then just pull it out. So hopefully you understand that curl a little better now that I've explained it a little more in detail and you see the difference between the curls. All right. So there we go, let's brush it out. They're just more beachy. They're just more loose. Do you see this? It is so pretty. It is just, it just lays there, you know, just very nice, very separated, very cute, a lot of texture, a lot of dimension going on. Same with this side. This one's just a little bit curlier. Okay, this one is just flowy. Isn't that so nice? I know, I love this, I love this, okay? This is what I love. All right, last section. Let's do them all next to each other, okay? Because this is the longest part of my hair, I want you to see all of the curls all right next to each other. What is all of this? <laughs> can I salvage this hairstyle today? I don't know. But you can see all my hair underneath with like those curls on top looks so much better, right? Just having more hair looks better. Let's look at this side. See, looks 
a lot better. You can kind of see the picture, right? Much better. So first, we're gonna start off with the curl that I like the most because I think it's really pretty as a face frame. I don't wanna do something that <laughs> doesn't look good as a face frame for the front. Okay, so we are gonna do that curl. I kind of like to over direct and make this more straight and then pull it down. If these ends are a little more curly because you pulled the curling iron a certain way, just straighten them. So nice, face frame, right at the eye, do a little curl, we're good to go. Okay, curl here, let it go. Curl, let it go. So nice, look at that. So nice as a face frame. Really, really, really nice. This one is the curl that I said is a, a more regular curl. There's nothing wrong with this. So you curl at the, at the top first and then you release and curl more, just like that. Nothing wrong with this curl, just a little bit more curly. With these, I personally like leaving that end out and straightening it because they get a little wild. Nothing wrong with that curl. It still looks pretty. You can blend these together if you really want. Then we're doing a wand curl. I'm gonna do this away from my face. This, you can see way better what I'm doing. You see all those little twisty twists, how thin they are on that barrel. I'm leaving about an inch out as to my root. This is a wand curl. And then you just slide the barrel out and let it cool just like that. It looks crazy, it looks like a little spiral. That's what you want. Now we're doing the no, 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 no. Do not curl your hair like this. This will look even more ridiculous because it's such a long piece of hair. And I think you'll understand way more what I mean when I say don't do this, okay? Just don't do it. Ugh. Here's my favorite curl. Very soft. Here's the next one. Still nice, we're still good. The ends are a little crazy. You know, you kind of have to fix those. And that's fine. There we go, that's fixed. A Little more straight. Here's the wand curl. You wanna brush these out, but very fun, okay, bouncy. It's all about the bounce. When your hair's all curled, it looks way better. Here's the no-no, brushing it out. Ugh, do you see that? It's just the curls right here, that's it. This wand curl, it's curled all the way to the root. This one, all the way to the root. This one, perfect. This one, what is that? No, no, so these are the three curls right next to each other. Good, 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 no. Just depends on what look you're going for. All right, let's move on to this section so we can understand a little bit more. I am gonna do the, the good curl, okay, at the root, and then we'll slide this hair in and let it go. Okay, now we're gonna do a wand curl. Very pretty. Oh, there's my feather. You can see my feather in this one. Small section on this. You need a small section for the wand curl. Pull that out, let that spiral sit. Now the big, no, no, don't do this. No, 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 no. Okay, let's brush this out. Curl just at the end. There's nothing going here. This does look better than this. I will give that to you. This is just not working. It's just a no-go, okay? Here's the wand curl. Super nice, super pretty, flowy. Here's the regular curl, very pretty still. And then here's that flatter to the face curl. So those are all right next to each other. I couldn't take it, I couldn't. So my battery died, okay? I went to charge it. While it was charging, I fixed my hair. But anyways, let's go back to where I was at. I think I was talking about knowing the difference, okay, between the curls and seeing it, the difference. So here's my hair all the way done. I did a mixture and I used both curling irons 
to kind of mix and match <laughs> to salvage my hair for the day because <laughs> it was a whole hot mess. Okay, I have like rando curls down here that look so different from these curls, but we're just not gonna show anybody. It's just gonna be, it's just gonna be our secret. And I wanted to just say thank you, Croc, for sponsoring this video. Uh, both of these curling irons you are able to purchase at crocusa.com, and I will link them down below, and you can use my code Chloe30 to save money. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you learned what size curling iron you needed and how to curl your hair, what you personally like. And hey, if you want to curl your hair with the curls being only at the bottom, you don't like the straight look or whatever, that's fine, you do you, nobody cares. I'm just trying to help because I know that there's a lot of confusion with the curling iron. It's intimidating. Uh, I have a lot of friends who don't like using curling irons and they just use flat irons and that's fine. You're gonna get a different look, but ultimately your hair's curled, so it really doesn't matter. But um, curling irons aren't intimidating. They're very easy to use. You just need to know what to do with the tool. And I hope that this video showed you that today. So thank you so much for watching. Um, and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye.